all the homework. All right. So we're going to cover everything. All of it. So if you are having trouble doing the homework and understanding it, today's a good day to pay attention. All right. Distance is 1.22 times 10. Where are we missing something? Angular diameter of the sun is half a degree. We're missing something in this problem. Okay. So, right here, right, this should have in it 0.5 degrees. Right? So, you can't do this problem without that piece of information. So, I'm going to have to edit that shortly. All right. So diameter is half a degree. Distance is 1.22 times 10 to the 8 kilometers. All right. So distance, 1.222 times 10 to the 8 kilometers. And its angular diameter, alpha, is 0.5 degrees. formula we have really all right what's up with this problem pi d alpha over 360. All right? And I do not know why this is not showing up correctly on Canvas. Mm -hmm. When you take the quiz, it doesn't like show you the formula or the answer to this. And it didn't show me like the correct answer or anything. The answer is it normally doesn't show you, but it should be showing you these formulas. Because they are, they are part of the question. So I'm not sure why this one isn't working at all. But let's go over. So on this one, we have the angle is 0.5 degrees, right? Uh, in the version that we had, and we have L is 2 pi D, right, times alpha <coughs> over 360. When you want to deploy the whole thing in your calculator, like the whole formula? When I do it? Yeah, um, like piece by piece. So I often do it all at once, right? But I might have used a calculator more often than you, right? So um, that's something to think about, and you might want to think about, do I need to break it down in order to make it easier for, for you to do it, right? Okay, so 2 times pi, 
times 1.222, and in Excel, it's times 78 like that, times 0 0.5 divided by 360. And what we get, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Right? What we get is L equals a million, 1.06 times 10 to the 6. Now, the way Canvas rates things, you only have to be within 2%, right? So you don't have to have it exactly right, you just be within 2% and you're good. So, um, I'm going to try and figure out why Canvas is messing up on this question when you see it, right? Why you don't see the formula and why you don't see the angle. I'll try and get that fixed today. Um, if I don't get it fixed, right, the angle, the number it was showing you, this number, just fine. The angle is 0.5 degrees and the formula is 2 pi d times alpha over 360, all right? So if for some reason I'm not able to get it fixed, you'll have that. Let me see if I can see what I can do real quick. Let's look at the next question. Calculate the sun's density in grams per cubic centimeter, right? Sun's mass is approximately, oh, I need a little of that. And a raise. Sun's mass is approximately 2 times 10 to the 33 grams, right? And its radius is approximately. Okay. times 10 to 33 grams is the mass of the sun. Radius approximately 7.07 .07 times 10 to the 10th centimeters. So what is the density of the sun? It's given by this formula. The mass, 2 times 10 to the 33 grams, divided by 4 thirds pi times radius cubed. Now, here's one where it might make sense to break it up into two pieces. Right? And calculate the denominator first. So the volume, that's what's on the bottom, is 4 thirds pi r cubed, right? That's the denominator down here. r is 7.07 .07 times 10 to the 10th, right? So the volume V is 4 thirds pi times 7.07 .07 times 
10 to the 10. So if I go over here to Excel, 4 divided by 3 times pi times 7.07 times 10 to the 10th cubed. So 1.48 times 10 to the 33 cubic centimeters. times 10 to the 33 grams, right? So the density grams divided by cubic centimeters, right? So 2 times <coughs> 10 to the 33 grams divided by 1.48 times 10 to the 33 cubic centimeters, and we get 1.35 grams per cubic centimeter. What's that? I got 1.35 times 10 to the 66. Then you ended up multiplying instead of dividing. Here's what you probably, let me show you what you probably did, okay? Let me finish writing grams per cubic centimeter. Okay, so what you probably did on your calculator to get that answer was you did, um, you typed something like two times, two uh, times 10 to the 33, right? Mm -hmm. Divided by 1.48, and then you went times 10 to the 33. When you do this, like this, you're multiplying by 10 to the 33, you're dividing by 1.48, and then you're multiplying all of that by 10 to the 33, right? So one of the ways to help yourself when you have expressions like this is if you, if you just put parentheses around it, like that, then it's taken care of. All right. Yep. So this here right there. That's, that's how you set it up. Yeah, that's how you set it up. So what? Um, I'm guessing the 1.48 come from three, four, three, right? The uh, 1.48 came from the volume. Right over here. Here. Yes, sir. That was the, that came from the volume. 1.48 times 10 to the 33 cubic centimeters. But we don't number two, right? Yeah. So we have mass. This is four thirds pi r squared, r cubed. Sorry. So you got mass two times ten to the thirty three power divided right. by one point one eight, which was four three. Which is four thirds pi r cubed. Yep. We calculated the four thirds pi r cubed first. Oh. Right. We calculated that first. And now we're doing the division mass divided by that. So what do we do with the radius?
Now, and when you guys do this, remember you're going to have slightly different numbers, right? Everybody clear on these? Ready for the next set? Yep. Do you get your antonyms? Would it be like a something times ten times something? Uh, no, the answer on this one? Yeah. No, it's, the answer on this one is just 1.35. All right. Our answer is not going to be 1.35. No, your answer is going to be a little different from 1.35. Are you having trouble getting that? Yes. What are you getting? Um, I'm trying to do it again, but I got... Later issues, okay? We'll go back after we go through all of it, and we'll we'll try and sort out calculator issues for everybody. All right. Um, parallax, red giant beetle juice. We can barely measure it, but we can measure it, and um, has a has has a value of about. What is up with Canvas? Because... I'm going to have to 
to contact the help desk to find out what's up with campus. Basically. Because All right. I'm going to go in where I can, I can see we can at least work through a problem. But as it is, you don't even have all the information you need to solve these problems. Okay. So um, the red dye and beetle juice, right? Barely measurable. That has a value of p milli arc seconds to distance d in parsecs, right? And so the number we have for this problem is 5.139 is p. So, in this problem, p is 5.139. That's milli arc seconds. And so the distance D in parsecs is 1,000 divided by 5.139. All right? So that's 5 point. It's not going to be the same now, of course, all right? No. So 194.6 parsecs is how far away mule juice is, right? That's an easy one. The next one. I may have to just go in. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. So the main sequence star has luminosity of 4898 times luminosity of our sun, right? So basically what we're saying is we have um, L for this star is 4898 times um, the luminosity of our sun. Right? And that's the symbol for luminosity of our sun. Um, what is its mass m? Well, all we need is luminosity is mass cubed. And if we solve for mass, mass is L to the one third. All right. So here's one of the reasons I have this problem in here. Mass is the luminosity to the one third power. Okay? All right. This is one you guys did not get right fairly often. Because here's what you did. You typed something like um, L to the 1 divided by 3. Right? What is that? You don't know? Here's what your calculator sees when you do that. L to the 1 divided by 3. That's what your calculator sees, right? So to avoid making that mistake, use parentheses 1 divided by 3 like that. Right? That way your calculator knows exactly what you mean when you do L to the 1 third power. So if I'm going to do 4898 to the 1 third power, 4898 to the 1 divided by 3. See, I use parentheses when I'm doing it so that we sort that out correctly. All right? 4898 to the 1 third power, and I get 16.98 is the mass. 
So the mass is 16.98 times as massive as our sun. In the sun's core of a billion years, mass is consumed, right, this is chapter 14, mass consumed at a rate of 1.33 times 10 to the squared 26 kilograms per billion years. So, I hope I did that, right? Okay, so 1.33 times 10 to the 26 kilograms per billion years, um, the mass of the sun's core is about 10 to the mass of the sun, and so the mass that we're concerned about is 1.98. 9 times 10 to the 29 kilograms. How many billions of years should our sun be on the main sequence? Right? A number of billion of years it should be on the main sequence is just you divide the mass by the rate at which mass is being consumed and you get the answer. So what we want, right? We have Q. 1.33 times 10 to the 26, 26, all right, kilograms per billion years. We have uh, the mass is 1.989 times 10 to the 29, 29 kilograms. And what we're looking for is just the mass divided by the rate at which it's consumed. So 1.336 divided by 1.989.9, right? All right, again, when you type this and you want to calculate it, you're going to want to do. the man's going to type. You're correct. Mass is on top. All right. When you calculate this, don't hesitate to use parentheses in 1.989, right, times 10 to the 29 divided by 1.33 times 10 to the 26, right? Do it that way, and that will help you make sure you're calculating what you think you're calculating. So it's easier in Excel because I just put E29 and 1.33 E26, and I get 1495 billion years. Chapter 14. How long will it take for a planetary nebulous shell moving at 22.84 kilometers per second to expand to a radius of a fourth of a light year? So a fourth of a light year is 237 times 10 to 12 kilometers times t in billions of years is that divided by the velocity <coughs> times 10 to the minus 9. Right? We 
have, oh, sorry, bring the problem down where you can actually see it. All right? So we have our velocity, 22.84 kilometers per second. We want to know how long at that velocity would it take to go a quarter of a light year. A quarter of a light year is 2.37 times 10 to the 12 kilometers. All right? And I set this up so that when you get through doing, calculating it, you multiply 10 to the minus, by 10 to the minus 9, and you get the answer in billions of years. All right, so we have our velocity. V equals 22.84. All right. velocity 22.84 kilometers per second. We have our distance 2.37 times 10 to the 12 kilometers. All right. And we have a formula T equals D over V times 10 to the minus 19. That. Might make it easier, right? So I would type this as 2.37 times 10 to the 12th, right? Divided by 22.84 times 10 to the minus 9. Mm -mm, because that is multiplying the whole thing. Right? It's not in the denominator. It's multiplying the whole thing. So 2.37 to the 12 divided by 22.84 all times um, 10 to the minus 9. All right, so in chapter 15, first problem, right? We have a radius of 0.81 times 10 to the 9th. We have a mass of 1.989 times 10 to the 33rd. We're going to calculate the density, which is mass divided by volume, where volume is 4 thirds pi r cubed. This is exactly like the problem you did we did earlier, just different numbers, right? It's exactly the same problem. Just calculating the density of a sphere. We've got its radius, we have its mass, and we just help calculate its density. So radius, 0.81 times 10 to the ninth centimeters. Radius, mass, 
1.989 times 10 to 33 grams. times pi times 0.81 E9 cubed. So 2.22 times 10 to the 27th or 2.23 times 10 to the 27th cubic centimeters. The density that we're after is mass divided by volume, right? So the density is 1.989 times 10 to the 30th divided by 2.23 times 10 to the 27th. Same as one of the problems we did before. Should be pretty straightforward. Last problem. Calculate the Schwarzschild radius of the sun. All right? All right, so the Schwarzschild radius of the sun 2 times g times the mass of the sun divided by the speed of light squared, right? g is 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11. c is 3 times 10 to the 8. Mass of the sun, 1.998, as I, I listed it here, 1.9998 times 10 to the 30 kilograms, right? This gives us the mass of the sun. times 10 to the minus 11. M is <coughs> 1.998 times 10 to the 30th. C, 3 times 10 to the 8th. So R is going to be 2 times 6.67 minus 11 times 1.998 10 to the 30th divided by 3 times 10 to the 8th squared. So 
On the previous problem, I put in the wrong mass up here because this was in grams. All right, so that was supposed to be 33 right there. It means it would have been 33 right there, which means this was 0.892 grams per cubic centimeter, and that's on the previous problem. I just put in the wrong exponent on that first problem. I put in 10 to the 30th instead of 10 to the 33. Questions? We'll look back and see which ones. Chapter 15 seems to be working. Chapter 14 seemed to be working. Chapter 13 is not in chapter 12.
sun is A equals 0.5 degree, and that its distance D is 1.22 times 10 to the 8 kilometers, determine the sun's diameter L. And now we have L equals 2 pi D A over 360. So number one on 12 is working now. Calculate the sun's density in grams per cubic centimeter. The sun's mass is approximately 2 times 10 to the 13 grams. The radius 7.05 times 10 to the 10 centimeters. Okay. So that's good. All right. 12 is working. And this one on 13. The second one on 13. 